morning guys it is day two um we are on the beautiful wish and we are currently docked at nassau bahamas i don't believe we're going to be going like on the bahamas in the bahamas on in on step foot in the bahamas oh Maybe, might, oh yeah, we might just to get the back of the ship. Oh, I don't know, how, how are we docked? We are docked? Okay. Um, but we have Palo brunch today, so we're all like snazzed up as much as, I mean, maybe not as much as we could be, but we're, we're, we're snazzed up. Um, we're going to head up there in a little bit. And I'm gonna eat like crazy because I'm, I'm pretty hungry. We didn't have breakfast. I had like a croissant and that's it. And we don't eat till 11, so uh, yeah. I mean, we don't have anything else planned. We're just gonna kind of wing it and I don't know. I don't know what else we're gonna do. So yeah, follow along with us. See what we got. What, what we got planned. We're all ready to go. We're headed down to Twelve Aft. That's where Paolo is here. Paolo <laughs> Steakhouse. Paolo Steakhouse. It's different here. So when you walk in, you can see the rose, which is the bar. Beautiful rose. I need a chance at mirror. Show me the beast. It's absolutely gorgeous in here. We got the nice view. Support. ready yet and it is 11 o'clock so we're just gonna hang out in the rooms and look at this nice view and um, wait until our table is ready. We just got seated at our table. It's a nice cute little booth. It's the first one when you walk in but it's a cute where we're sitting right next to all the wine. I'm, I'm sure if we drink wine We'd be obsessing over it, but um, yeah, this is nice. Definitely have to go back and get a better view of the rest of the place, though. Yeah, because I mean, we don't get to see any of it. So. <laughs> but of course, we still have that nice view of Nassau too. So here in um, Palo Steakhouse on the Wish, they have a still and sparkling water menu, and I opted for. Um, the Three Bays Premium Australian Mineral Water. This one was um, fifteen dollars, but it's a it's a pretty big bottle. Like we Josh and I are gonna share it, um, but it's 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 very mineraly, but it's good. Like it's a good water. It's definitely a lot better than uh, Dasani. That's for sure. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that, you agree? That bottle, the can, whatever Dasani is. Yeah, because mm. we've been having like this can Dasani because that's what they they give you instead of the plastic bottles of it, and it's it's just some um, it's something different. That's for sure. But this this is delicious. So if you ever get your hands on some Three Bays, uh, try it. Here is the bread. So we have a different variety of breads. And then of course they got us the um, olive oil with the um, balsamic. And look at them, they're so yummy looking. It's so different than like the breads that we get like at the like main dining. It's just like, you know, those hard rolls. So this is gonna be nice. I can't wait. So we got our first um, appetizers. We got the uh, tomato and basil soup. And oops, 
pretty good. Interesting. And then we also got the flatbread. It's, um, they're able to make half and half, which is nice. So we got the uh, spicy Italian sausage and the margarita. And this is one of my favorites. If I could just eat this all day and the whole time we're on the, on the ships, I would, I would do this because this, this pizza is just amazing. It's way better and way different. I don't know what kind of sauce they put on it, but it's just different than the, the pizzas that they have like outside in the, like on the deck 11, which is, I don't know, but I'm, I'm ready to eat. I'm like starving. <laughs> so this is the... Entree, it's the chicken. Chicken parmesan with a risotto base. Melted mozzarella on top. It looks very good. He said this is one of their best sellers. And I also wanted to try and got the ravioli, the wild mushroom ravioli. Uh, toasted pine nuts with melted butter and microgreens. It looks very tasty as well. And then I got the sirloin steak and it has the caramelized onions with it. And I believe it's got the truffle butter and green beans. I also got the um, lasagna bolognese, which is one of my favorites. I like getting this. And what do you think of your chicken? So far, so good. It's one bite in, so yeah. Okay. Okay. I got dessert and Josh got the sticky bun. And I got the um, warm amaretto chocolate fondant. It's almost like a like a chocolate lava cake almost. So it's delicious. This is my go-to usually whenever I come here. So I'm probably gonna have it tomorrow night too when we come Is here. The same dessert? I don't know. I don't know what they have here. I guess yeah. we'll, we'll find yeah. out because we've yeah. never been to a Palo dinner and then and we're gonna experience it for the first time because this is the Palo Steakhouse, so they have steaks and. Wagyu. Yeah, Wagyu. I don't know. I guess I'll have to see what they have. But mm. all right, we're gonna enjoy our dessert. It's not story to you. Okay. All players follow on players' ships. They have just Italian and uh, Venetian inspiration. And they have nothing to do with Disney. So Disney wish they bring Paolo and Enchantre to the Disney story as well. So they inspired the Disney cookbooks. So there's a duty in this. Okay. Our particular restaurant, the one, the Coxworth. It's one of the, you remember the two guys who was in charge for yeah. the hospitality in the castle of the Disney. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they were the one who welcomed the Mel first in the castle. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why the Italian guy is Coxworth, French guy, Remir Stan of Enchantre. Oh, okay. And we kind of inspired by Coxworth. This is the chandelier, it's near the grills. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like a grills. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh nice. They have yeah, a, yeah, a so big room for parties. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I mean, every problem on ships having the big room, like in uh, Dream and Fantasy, it's not closed. It's just mm. like uh, inside, big round mm. table. On Magic and Wonders, they have like like it's hidden room. Mm. You know, so you like to go? Out? Go out, no? Sure. sure. Hey. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Okay. On Dream and Fantasy, they have a veranda. Actually, there is one table. You can have a you know, meal if you like. You know? Sometimes people like crazy, so we're staying on the veranda behind the Meridian. Right. Uh, so That's really nice. Yeah, unfortunately, the table is not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't imagine <laughs> eating on that. <laughs> yeah. Also, I wanted to mention now that we are um, platinum members of the Castaway Club, 
we get um, $50 each to use at Palo. So we did that and we used it for our brunch. So our brunch was basically free. I mean, we had to play gratuity, of course. But, it, I mean, that's amazing. That's awesome. Like, we got our Palo brunch and we could eat as much as we wanted to. And we got it for free. So that's that's a perk of having a Platinum Platinum Castaway Key. Or Platinum pa Castaway Club. So that's neat. Let me change clothes real quick. And we're just going to walk real quick um, outside. It started to rain, of course. Um, this has just been a, a rainy trip. Um, when we're walking real quick, we're going to take some pictures of the back of the ship. Um, just so we have them, because this is our first time being on the ship. Um, yeah, so I don't know how long we're going to be out here, because obviously it's, it's raining. Just a couple minutes, just to get some pictures, and then we're going to head back on the ship. Okay, that was a very short trip off the boat. <laughs> like, <laughs> ten minutes maybe. Maybe. We got our pictures, and it was raining, so that made it even shorter. Um, so we are now waiting for the member celebration um, in the Luna Lounge, which is on the fourth floor? Fourth and fifth floor, because there's a second floor as well. Um, this is the Luna Lounge. We were here last night for a couple of the adult activities. Um, this one is very pretty. It does have that beautiful ceiling. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's Peter Pan and maybe Mufasa or Simba, uh, Jimmy Cricket, Wally, and Eve. I don't know if this like picks it up or not because it's kind of dark in here right now. But it's got the characters up there, and they're so cute. But this is what we're what we're dealing with right now. We always come to these because they gave you these drinks. And we found out that this welcome home drink is $17 on the ship. $17. One seven. So that is why we come to these. And I got a free water too. And the water is probably like six bucks. So yeah. Meet and greet with none other than Pluto! We just finished uh, the uh, Disney Vacation Club little presentation and now we are creating our little avatars for the little game that they have. It's different because um, like on the Dream and the Fantasy they have the um, Midship Detective Agency and here they have um, the game you use your own smartphone or your smart devices to play their game on their Wi-Fi. So we're creating our own little avatars and then we'll see what we can, what it does, because we've never played it before. So with this one, it's just kind of like the midship tech of agency. You go all around the ship and you do games and things and you interact with like the um, screens and stuff, but it's kind of loud. So like it, it's like people are like, ooh, what's going on? Um, but the cool thing is, is that you can um, interact with each other's, so you can play with other people with their smartphones. So we've added each other, and this is our next one. So we've done one, and we were flying um, on a screen with uh, Peter Pan and Wendy, so it was kind of cool. And this is fun. But I will say, with that game, make sure that your battery on your phones are fully charged or that you have some sort of um, charging device with you because when we started the game, we only did it for like maybe 10 minutes and my battery was at 84% and it dropped it down to 68% just by doing that one task. So just FYI for you guys. Now, we're back in the Luna and we are going to do, is that ultimate Disney trivia? But this one just says de general Disney there. trivia. Okay. So we're going to see how this goes. There's a lot of people in here. Love, people love their trivia. Right? A lot. lot. Alright, so we just finished trivia. We got 15 out of 20. This was ultimate Disney trivia. Very hard. Very hard. But somebody got 18 out of 20. 
Um, so I'll leave you guys with uh, one trivia question. This is the only one I can remember right now. But what Disney film was the first one to have a uh, soundtrack? What do you think the answer is? I guess I'll tell you. Why not? It's uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarves. The first one. Of course. Hello. <laughs> So it is still raining, so I am, um, we are hanging out in the lounge in the concierge area, and I guess at 4 o'clock there is going to be a special character just for concierge guests, so we're going to wait around a little bit and see who it is. The character, I forgot to film it because it was just kind of, it was exciting, but the character for the concierge lounge was Goofy. Um, we met Goofy the last time we were in the concierge lounge, so that was kind of cool. Um, it's neat getting to have our own special character time that we don't have to wait, like, you know, hours for in the, in the atrium. That's kind of neat. So now we're actually in the bayou, and we're waiting for, um, Disney Music Trivia Live, and it's where actually somebody plays, um, the trivia question is on the piano. Um, it is very busy in here. I, I don't know why. I'm thinking it's still raining outside. Because that, that seems to be the only reason why like these things are super busy like this is when it's raining. So now we're just waiting for this one. This is really nice. We haven't actually been in this one, but this is like the ceiling of it. <laughs> it's just kind of like in the center of the walkways, so it's just kind of like a little lounge area. This is what it's going to be. Alright, another unsuccessful trivia. We got 34 out of 40, and the winner got 36 out of 40. I mean, we, I mean, this one was different though because you named the song title and then she asked a trivia question about the movie or the attraction that it came from or even the show it came from. So it was a little bit different and I like that. That's different because most of the time they just want you to name the, the song title and the, or the, or the artist or, the, or where it's from. So I really like this one. This one was cool because it, it kind of threw me off because I didn't know where, you know, like what the question would be. But then sometimes if I didn't know what the song was, it, the question gave me that hint. And I was like, oh, that's what the song is. So I like this one. I have some more traditional side. Okay. One, another one which I make is like a maple vanilla with some bacon into that. Which has oh, like a dash of natural yeah. spice. That would be an interesting option to do. You want to do that one? That sounds some, crazy. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's okay. like a maple vanilla and I put some uh, habanero bacon inside it. Okay. We can, okay. Try, we can try that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's very, very unusual. Yeah. smoke alarms in here, do you? It's <laughs> 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 activates, but it doesn't have a sound, that's a good thing. Otherwise, I would be a problem. <laughs> 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 
So do you have different types of woods? Uh, mostly oak actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. When it comes to the shape. I mean, that would be something that could be. Uh, exactly. There are different. You know, potentially like mesquite. Yeah, there are different kinds. Like there is like hickory, hickory, oak, yeah, maple, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, pecan. Um, yeah, there's definitely some, some yeah. different woods that could be used. To... <laughs> So let's oh, try it. Let's gotta see. try it. What do we find? This is a uh, maple vanilla with a touch of habanero into that. Mm. Yeah, bottoms up. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, nice sniff. Mm, I'll hey, have a sniff. Okay. Very smoky. Ooh. I like it smoky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The bacon give it something like a nice. Uh, yeah, that's a good yeah. flavor. You like good it? Flavor. Yeah. Good flavor. It's Cook's Barbary. This is a great place to go um, for like um, a shave or a haircut for the gentleman. And then also they have this really nice bar that we just checked out. And then you could get um, an old fashioned. And they have a lot of um, different whiskeys and things they can choose from. They actually have one that's from like Prohibition era from like the 1920s in there. And he told us that they spent thousands of dollars on very expensive different types of drinks in here too. So you guys go check out Hook's Barbary. All right, it is dinner time and today is Arendelle. So we are heading over there right now. Oh, a nice restroom is in here too, which is nice. Yay! And a beautiful portrait of the family. I love all the pictures on the walls. This is fun. Paintings. Oh, the clock. Time for dinner. It's actually keeping the right time. Yeah. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Have a good time. Yeah. Oh, hang in there, Joan. <laughs> so this will be our view. Uh, we do have a table in front of us. Um, this is kind of interesting though that there's like a chair like right here so we're gonna have somebody like sitting right here. Um, I don't know the seating in this one is very different. Service today. <laughs> this one is uh, six grain Viking loaf and it does come with a uh, onion dip.
prime rib. Yeah, it push around in a cart. We didn't get that. And there's also B mode, which is Olaf as the walk around character. We didn't get that. We got 
Yes. We zero got Ola. zero Ola. What's up with that? Up I wanted Ola. I wanted to see Ola. But that's okay. I loved it. The show was great. But it was so like smushed in there. There was so little room for activities in there. Yeah. Like the characters walk around and say hello to you. But I they can. can't say hello to you. Because they, they can only go around in like the sections. What's up? I kind of like the... Uh, what was it? The enchantment? No, not enchantment. What's the one? The Rapunzel? Yeah, the Rapunzel one. I yeah, like on the magic. I like that one better. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I mean, that show was good, but yeah. I kind of like the Rapunzel one better. Okay. Well, I like I like this one too. We just got in the room and we got our towel animal. It looks like a cute little outfit. It's adorable. And of course, our chocolates. I love coming back after our meal. It's great because it's like turn down service. They close your um, your curtains and everything and they just make it super nice and make it all pretty for you. Ready for bed. I love it. We're waiting in line for the Walt Disney Theater. Today is Little Mermaid. Um, <laughs> um, I think this will be the last show that we see because the other one is Aladdin and that's one we've already seen on I think the fantasy. So we're just waiting over here in the priority entrance for concierge. Because um, this is also where they let in the people that are um, needing help like, with wheelchair access and things like that too. They let them in this here as well. So we're just waiting. And again with the Walt Disney Theater there are no there's no photography, there's no um, videographing nothing you can do any of that stuff while the show is going on so i'm gonna leave you guys out here all right so we found our seats we got the front row again and also with concierge you get free popcorn and you can get that one the um air pop one and you also get Right here in the middle. So cool. I love that. I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see um, the screen. Yeah, it's on. And look at this. Let me show you this real quick. This is for uh, the Little Mermaid. So this is so cute. They actually have the stage open. But last time it was just a curtain. And then I just look This is so cute. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Little Mermaid. Sorry. Hey. Sorry you guys can't enjoy it, but I'll get to tell you how, how it is when we're done. Alright, we just got out of the Walt Disney Theater and we finished watching Little Mermaid. That was really cute. It was a little bit different, the ending, because, um, you know, it's a live theater, so there's they're not able to do everything that, you know, like the... So, I mean, I guess it was just like their telling of The Little Mermaid. And, um, yeah, I liked it. And now we're here in the bayou again. And we're gonna try some venues. And I guess we're gonna be listening to some music from Andy. So there are our venues. Whatever it is, two hundred dollars. Go to <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> we get our own oogie boogie bash right here <laughs> on the ship. The Disney Wish. Well, yeah. We, we paid way more. Than oh, I know. We paid way more than two hundred dollars <laughs> a person. So hopefully, I mean, and we don't get to ride rides. So eh, hopefully, it's worth the price of the mission on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the heroes, what is this? The heroes, what is this called? Hero the heroes, zone. hero Hero's zone. zone. And we're here. Oh, something's going on. What? Well, we're all 
happened in here. Oh, oh, there's somebody beckoning us to the to the dead center of the room. <laughs> oh, oh no, okay. I guess we're gonna go over here. Hey, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't realize there were so many of you like me, <laughs> wanting to become someone or something else. <laughs> I'm inspired. Uh, where's my head? I'm Vex, chaser okay. of dreams and nightmares. <laughs> on the screen like the villains they'll come and like talk and stuff and they teach like everybody like how to do dance moves and stuff it was neat it was cute yeah. i liked it it's like a secret party to summon Iggy boogie but you don't summon Iggy boogie he just comes on his own because that's Iggy boogie daisy's pizza pie and we got pizza because we couldn't get ice cream. Not fresh now. Ice cream we ended at 10.30 and it's 10.45. BS. Alright, so we're going to go to the room and go eat our food. Not ice cream. Pizza. Well, I think we're going to call it a night. Um, we're going to finish eating our pizza. Um, we got a super, not a super early, we got an early morning. And tomorrow's Castaway Key Day. We got a surprise tomorrow. What's oh, a surprise? It's a surprise. Okay, I won't say anything. Yeah, don't say anything. It's a surprise for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, 
we're going to eat our pizza and then go to bed. And yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good night's rest. Last night I think I was just getting used to the bed and everything. I didn't sleep very well. I slept like trash. Yeah, well, that's good. So we're going to head to bed now. I hope you guys enjoyed today Apollo brunch and uh, running around seeing the ship and all the fun activities and Oogie Boogie Bash and super fun. Yeah. So I hope you have a great day and we'll see you real soon. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.